Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobian History. Today I'm starting a new series about the evolutionary history of life on Earth as we see it today, because evolutionary history is always changing as new things are discovered. So my aim in this series is to build the tree of life and keep building upon it in further episodes. You could say it's kind of similar to the evolutionary history of elephants that I did a few months ago, and I'm hoping to link up that episode with this series eventually, as we get to the part of the tree where the elephants belong to. So this is the start, so today we will be talking about the last universal common ancestor, also called Luca, which evolved into the three domains in which life is classified into today. This is an organism that is predicted to have lived sometime between 3800 million years ago to 3500 million years ago and it is the ancestor of all living organisms that exist today. This was by far not the first living organism, but it was the only one from which its descendants survive. While the other organisms living at that time, including their descendants, all went extinct. So that leaves us with Luca and their descendants. Though there is no fossil evidence of Luca, Evidence can be found by studying and comparing the genomes of its descendants. So in other words, that's everything alive today. Luca was first proposed by Charles Darwin in his book On the Origins of Species in 1859, with the quote, Therefore I should infer from analogy that probably all the organic beings which have ever lived on this earth have descended from some one primordial form into which life was first bred. Later, Luca was separated from the origin of life, so to change this quote to comply with the current thought, we only have to change one thing, that being the part where he says all things that ever lived should change to all things living today. In this early world where Luca lived, it is thought that horizontal gene transfer was very common, in contrast to vertical transition of DNA, so that being from parent to offspring, horizontal gene transfer is the movement of genetic material between different organisms, which don't necessarily need to be the same species. You can think of it as bumping into your dog, and just like that you're now part dog. Bacteria and archaea continued to use this technique to evolve, but us eukaryotes had developed sexual reproduction instead which made horizontal gene transfer unnecessary for eukaryotes to evolve. But that doesn't mean it never happened again in eukaryotic evolution. But that's something we will come back to in the next episode, where we will explore the diversification of the three domains of life. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. On screen now you can find a link to the playlist of this series, as well as a button to subscribe to my channel.